Welcome to my channel. I will share my routine to get healthy and take care. For me, it starts with cleaning my scalp. Before we can do that, I need to get out these braids. I'm going to take care of my hair in three stages. First, I'm going to loosen it, then wash it, and the last step is blow dry it. The hairstyle I have in now is about a month old, so that's my limit. The general length recommendation to keep braids in is between 6 and 8 weeks max. If you're going to keep uh, your braids longer, find a routine how to wash them and to keep them fresh. I get dandruff easily, so keeping them in longer is not an option. Protective hairstyles are my to go to at the moment. I'm a new mom, so whatever I do with my hair should be so low maintenance as possible. One of the main reasons to wear protective styles is to maintain moisture, prevent breakage and encourage growth. Although these are important reasons, the main reasons I wear my braids is for the looks and ease. To elaborate more on when it's time to loosen your protective hairstyle, new hair growth of your natural hair is one, but also builds up at the root of the braids. When it's time to loosen your hair, build up could be one of the reasons your hair cuts because the dirt clutters. So what is it that you can do to prevent your hair from breaking when you have in braids? I own my scalp or spray it with leave-in conditioner. That gives growth and maintains moisture. I'm not a person who pays a lot of attention to my curl pattern. I just work with what I have. I feel like the focus on the curl pattern is a new age invention. Let's be honest. The curl pattern can come in handy, especially when you need to find out what works best on your hair. I mentioned earlier about dandruff. You can try to keep this at the limit by using water-based products. These type of products prevent your hair from caking too much. There are actually some pretty good home remedies that help you get rid of dandruff. One very important thing to keep an eye on when it comes to scalp health is to watch what you eat. Some foods that you may want to limit are refined carbs like white bread, pasta and crackers, red meat, processed foods, fried foods, sugary foods and beverages. I can see where you might say, isn't this a bit far-fetched? So a more realistic tip to get rid of dandruff is the usage of aloe vera. Aloe vera is a succulent that often added to skin ointments and uh, lotions. When applied to the skin, it may help treat skin conditions. Aloe vera's antibacterial and antifugal properties can help protect against dandruff. Coconut oil is also a natural remedy uh, to help against dandruff. It improves skin hydration, prevents dryness, and decreases inflammation when applied as a moisturizer. Another oil that's also really good uh, to prevent uh, dandruff is tea tree oil. Letting your hair breathe means that you don't reinstall braids for at least three days. Your hair needs to regroup after it has been tucked away. I myself leave my hair in its natural state for three weeks. I twist it or wear it in a bun. This is a regime that will give you results. When it comes to loosening your hair, you can use a red silk comb to loosen it easier. But please, don't use a comb to detangle. That is how a lot of people lose hair. I cringe when I see hairdressers combing their clients hair with that comb. I can't help but think that they don't really like natural hair. Some tuck the hair like they are pulling weeds. Anywho, the best way to detangle your natural hair is to be gentle and to have patience. Uh, you can use a white tooth comb 
this tool can separate uh, clubs and helps the tangle without breakage also what helps is combing it out in small sections I part my hair in eight sections and then I take my time to comb it out it's also best to start at the ends and work your way up I also use a spray bottle with water to soften my curls maybe you didn't know but now you know avocado works wonders on hair it contains natural oils and fatty acids that are extremely helpful to bring your dehydrated uh, and dry hair back to life a popular hair mask is a mixture of avocado and coconut oil mash the avocado and pour three tablespoons of coconut oil in it leave the mixture in for 30 minutes and then you follow it up with shampoo and of course your conditioner i'm finally done loosening my hair and this is what it looks like in its unwashed natural state it's time to get it soaked much much later it's literally a couple of days later i had a few things to do so i let my hair breathe i then parted it in different sections which will come in use when i have to blow dry it later i don't do sections when family members or the hairdresser does my hair but when i have to do it myself i go for ease my go-to brands when it comes to the upkeep of my hair are Kanto and Cream of Nature, the Argan line. I use the Kanto Cleansing Cream Shampoo for deep cleansing of my hair and scalp. It's a sulfate-free shampoo, so that means the shampoo doesn't remove protective oils and color with each wash. For conditioning, I use the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Intensive Treatment. Shampoo cleanses and most of the time removes oil, so the conditioner reintroduces moisture back into your hair and helps to smooth out your strands for a shiny, soft and healthy finish. And why Argan Oil? It promotes hair growth because of the vitamins in it. It also protects and repairs your hair. This oil has nourishing qualities. It helps rejuvenate damaged hair. It forms a seal around your hair which brings heat styling damage down. In case you're going to blow dry your hair or more. It promotes elasticity with which strengthens the hair shafts and it also keeps scalp infections away. If you have a recommendations for other brands that really help you when it comes to washing your hair, please write it down in the comment section. I'm open to trying new products. Let me give you the summary of my wash day routine. The first thing I do is apply a generous amount of shampoo onto my scalp. I gently massage every inch of my head, paying close attention to itchy areas. I rinse my hair thoroughly, repeat the shampooing process until the water is clear. The more lather there is without the color, the cleaner the hair. I rinse my hair again, gently squeezing the braids to remove excess water. Then I apply conditioner, using my fingers to work conditioner into the braids. Normally I would cover my braids with a shower cap, let the conditioner sit for about 15 minutes before removing, removing it then rinsing it thoroughly again I didn't use a shower cap but I conditioned my hair so after that step I dry the braids by wrapping them in a large towel a shirt would be a better option uh, but I didn't do that my hair is damp at the moment I will further remove the excess water by blow drying it as you already saw, I parted it in sections, I pull it up and then dry it per braid. I used the Revlon One Step Volumizer Plus Blow Dryer and I'm happy with the results it gave. It's not super lightweight on the hands, but this blow dryer fits coily hair. 
I don't have it long, but I made sure to buy a blow dryer that doesn't detach every second when I go through my natural hair with it. So this is the end result. I look forward to your tips on the upkeep of natural hair in the comment section.